In this video, we're going to learn about the basics of scripts. A script in GameMaker is basically just like a function in other languages. It allows us, the programmers, to create our own reusable code. This can be as simple as a piece of code that creates a projectile or something more complex like a physics system or a platform game. The possibilities are endless. As always, we need a GameMaker project open and a new object with a create event. Then we also need a script, of course. To make one, we can simply right-click the script section in the resource tree and select Create Script. When it comes to using a script, we pretty much always want to rename them. The name of the script is what we use to execute the code it contains, so it's important to name it well. Starting script names with SCR for script is a good way of keeping things organized. Aside from that, we need to think about what the script will be doing to name it accordingly. So let's make the script super simple. We'll make it add two numbers together and display the result. We'll expand on this script more in the next video. With that being said, let's call this script scr underscore addition. Okay, so this is super simple stuff and it's done exactly how we've done it in the previous videos. In order to expand on it in the next video though, let's ensure we're using two variables for the number input. Two temporary variables is perfect for this as we don't need them outside of this script and we can't have the script relying on variables that are initialized locally in an instance or else it would cause an error. We want to be able to use this script anywhere in our game and have it work. Let's make a temporary variable called A and set it to 5, and another called B and set it to 2. Let's make one more variable called result, and this will be equal to the sum of A and B. So we write result equals A plus B. And finally, let's display the result using show message as normal. So show underscore message with the result variable as our argument. That's it for the script. One of the best things about scripts is we can execute them from anywhere in the game. So any object or timeline, we could even execute a script from within another script if we wanted to. In this case, let's use our object's create event to execute it. So we simply go to the create event and type the script name followed by two braces, just like a built-in function. Now we can put this object in a new room and run the game. Remember, our variables were set to 5 and 2, so the displayed result should be 7. And there we go, 7. So we made a script with three temporary variables that adds two numbers together and displays the result. We can now run this script from anywhere in the game as many times as we see fit. It's not a very useful script right now though, is it? There isn't really much use for doing this. Not to worry. Now that we know how to create a script and execute a script, 